Maybe you should grab an apple. An apple a day. We'll keep Frey's hunger at bay. Such a poet. So, how do we get to this Cognizance's guild place? If I'm reading the peasant girl's map correctly, we'll need to leave the city by the south gate. Oh. All right, let's get going then. Tanta's blessings. Hang on, who the heck are you? You're not the one they're saying came from outside the city, are you? Well, just don't go causing any mischief, you hear? Tanta's blessings. Hang on. Who the heck are you? You're not. We came this way last night, right? Good day. Please don't do anything to draw attention to yourself. Can we just. Pray, lend me your ears. I have a fine song to play you. Very well. Then allow me to regale you with. The Ballad of the Enormously Clever Person of Sipal. Is that really the best title he could come up with? Well, did it speak to your soul? Did the doleful melody conjure images of the encroaching miasma, the unearthly cries of its foul denizens? The unlucky inhabitants of this fair city, myself among them, cursed, never again to venture beyond its walls. Again? Have you ever been out there? But of course. What manner of minstrel would I be? Did I not go wandering over hill and dale? <laughs> In my dreams, of course. <clears throat> you fart! Escaped criminals roam the streets, and still you do not cease your racket. There is a crisis afoot. Forgive me, but there is always a crisis afoot. Well, you may have a point there, but nonetheless... She's a guard, Frey. We need to get out of here, now. I, uh, guess I'll be on my way then. Wait. You. You're... So sorry to see you go, fair maiden, but go you must. And quickly. <clears throat> that was a little too close for comfort. But we got away, thanks to the fop. Dream wanderings indeed. Yeah, and that song. What the hell even was that? Wow, that is a ton of junk right there. I suppose there's nowhere else to put it all if they can't leave town. Buildings around here look a little shabby. <laughs> Maybe we could help fix things up. I'd imagine it's more a lack of materials than a lack of will. Wood, in particular. Yeah, guess it must a be a cat. I'm so glad they have cats in Athia, too. Let's see. What's the plan, then? So this is where you were taking us. Aw, 
Is this for me? very adventurous when it comes to clothes, are they? Yes, there isn't a whole lot of choice. Unless you're a member of the council, it seems. Talk about rubbing it in. I'd like a surname. Something dignified. Yeah, something with a ring to it. Like, uh, Mr. Fucking Unbelievable Annoyance. Charmed, I'm sure, Miss Woefully Predictable. I'm glad they have cats in Athia, too. Why, exactly? Do you have some special attachment to the ridiculous little creatures? Huh? What? No. Miss you, Homer. What? Damn it! I mean... Well, that was a short trip. How the hell do you get out of this dump anyway? I know a way. You. You've been following me, kid? No. But I know how to help you. Really? I know everything around here. Mm-hmm. And what's that gonna cost me? An apple, maybe? So you have been following me. Sure. You seem hungry. Just follow me. Don't you want to know my name? Not really. It's Olivia. And you're Frey. Everyone's been talking about you. I guess I'm kind of famous around here. Does famous mean hunted by the gods? I call it finders keepers. Damn. Did you steal all this stuff? Not all of it. You're growing on me, kid. Sometimes people have no idea what they're throwing away. I often make new things out of this stuff. Here. If you get hurt, this will help you heal. All right. Nice. You'll have to give me the recipe. Of course. Let me teach you how. Try it. People really do throw a lot of stuff away, huh? Yes, a lot of useless rubbish.
Wait, this might come in handy. Hey, Shorty. I got you something. That thing you said isn't worth crap. No, not my cell phone. And thanks for not swiping that again. I don't steal from friends. Friends? Cool. <laughs> uh, well, as your friend, I got you this. Wow! What is that? Are you a taunter? <laughs> it's a pen light, and... No, I'm not a taunta. I... What's the deal with those guys anyway? They were the strongest and most powerful woman in Athia. They all had gifts. But in the past, they used them to help protect the land. But one day, they will again. They'll come and save us. Uh, listen, kid. From personal experience, you gotta look out for yourself. People only really get saved in fairy tales. You're wrong. You'll see. All right, well, uh, I got a split. Um, you said you knew the best way out of this place? Well, if you climb over that wall there, that should help you get to where you want to be. Cool. Thanks. I'll, uh, see you when I see you. I'll keep the city safe while you're gone. Sure. You do that. What the hell are these things? Are they people? I believe this is what happens when humans are affected by the break. Then I can't kill them. What choice do you have? It's either them or you. This is what Alden meant when she said people who come out here don't make it very far. Explains why the people of Sapporo prefer staying inside those walls. Huh. Huh.
Those are powerful magical energies indeed. Why not dive in and see what happens? Really? What the hell was that? Did something happen? I don't know. I feel more powerful, I think. Hmm. Well, more power is always a good thing. The Athians are into tall buildings, huh? It's said that the more towers a land has, the more prosperous it is. And the taller, the better. Guess that's one thing this place and home have in common. Although in this case, it might be more accurate to say the more prosperous it was. Or the Tantus went in there. Whoa! Is that really it? Craving a slightly stiffer challenge? Eh, maybe a little. Looks like this is the place. Seems like it's seen better days. Well, you're not gonna find what you're looking for out here. I know. I know. <sighs> Great start. <sighs> nice. Nothing, I suppose. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Great. Talk about a needle in a haystack. How am I gonna find these damn journals? They must have kept them somewhere safe. They contained his last great works, did they not? Let's make our way upwards, shall we? Wonder how many floors this place has. Looks like the break didn't come this far yet. You think those journals might be here? Perhaps we should take a look around. Hey, Cuff. Can you read what it says here? How can you not read their language when you can understand their words? Beats me. You or Mr. Languages share commonalities across many dimensions. I suppose I'll have to teach you then, will I? Fine. Hmm. This book contains some interesting tidbits about mysterious shards that were found after the break occurred. So, break shards? Well, if you like.
Well now, that's curious. What is? The Tantas painted unique patterns on their fingernails with their blood in order to unlock certain special powers. And depending on what patterns they painted, those powers would change accordingly. Oh, okay. I guess that could be useful somehow. Now that I did not expect. There's rather an intriguing connection between those two books, you know. Which is... Your break shards are said to be imbued with the blood of the Tantas. Perhaps you could use them to get the same powers. Seriously? Okay, nails aren't really my thing, but in this case, I guess I can make an exception. I suppose the journals you were looking for weren't here after all. I took my chances. Let's just keep looking upstairs. Feels like it's getting brighter. Could that be one of the journals? This isn't what we're looking for either. person under that getup. No shit, Sherlock! We need to know who he is. There's only one way to find out. Okay, Mr. Axe Murderer. I'm gonna come towards you and take off your mask. You're gonna be cool or uncool? <laughs> okay, it looks like we're going with uncool. Uh, so, I'm gonna let you chill in my grass prison while I go and look for the journals. Oh, I did not say there were gonna be so many. Oh, pardon? My lord. Wait. Hold on. Robian? I am looking at a goddamn ghost. H how are you alive? Everybody thinks you're dead. And the bloomers, too. I don't understand. I thought you wrote about it in the Red Journals. They get inside and... Sometimes I can't... But I try. I have to. Looks like you're losing the battle with the break, buddy. Yes, but you... You look like you're winning. I don't know. I am so far from home. I I'm trying to get back. I, I, I fell through a... Um... Whoosh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a, a, a voosh. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I gotta get back to where I gotta be through a, a, a voosh. Whoosh. Uh, you will get back to where you need to be. Whoosh. Yes, Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Company. Stay here. Company. Company. Oh. Time for tea. Wonder whose voice that was. Whoever it was, we need to be careful. Okay. 
can't believe Robian was alive this whole time. The peasant girl is in for the shock of her life. We are the soldiers of the Tanta Sila. You are in our realm. You are to come with us. That's not a thing that's happening. Aim for it! This automata, his only loyalty is to silence. You good? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. I think we lost them. He's completely mad. Yeah, too far gone for anyone's good. Corrupted by the break. Well, break Bob here is the best shot I got at leaving, so... That's quite worrisome. To be honest, I don't care what you think. I do have an investment in your decisions. Where thou goest, there go I and all that. Yeah, well, whatever magic bound us when I got here, hopefully will unbind when I get back. Pity. I was growing so fond of our partnership. Oh, I wish I could say the same. You say something, dear. No, oh, no. Just thinking out loud. Wonderful. 
I do that a lot. Or I think I do. Maybe I don't. Hard to separate the voice inside my head from any other. You know what? I understand you completely. Tell me about where you come from. Uh, it's a city much bigger than Sepal. It's called New York. Oh, ah, uh, yes, I know it. You do? Or I don't. The, the name is sitting there on the edge of memory, peeking through the fog. Or maybe I dreamt it. It, it sounds like a place I should know. Perhaps I've heard it spoken of. Have you told me of it? Maybe that, maybe you said something. Yes. Oh, he's going to be essential. Knock it off. Shit. Is Sapal on fire? It does appear to be smoldering somewhat. Come on. What happened here? She walks among us! Tanta Syla! She seeks the one called Frey. Me? Your arrival must have sent tremors across Athia. Your presence here has the Tanta frightened. Frey! You're back! Olivia, what is all this? I was wrong. She didn't come to rescue us. You did. I I'm no hero. Tanta Syla has Odin. Odin? My Odin. Wait, Bob! Break Bob! Your concern for the madman is admirable, but first we must stop Sila. It's okay, I'll try and fix this. I can help. No. Absolutely not, you're gonna stay here. And find somewhere to hide. Where she is, child. Where is the interloper, child? The one who dares trespass upon my realm? Tanta Sila. I am Robin King. Father. Morton. I served faithfully and Tanta Sinta. My wife Callisto was a general in your army. Have mercy on my daughter. Robin King. I've not heard that name in a long time. You have to save the peasant girl. She would do the same for you. Ah, oh, fuck. I know. We have to do something. See if you can sneak up behind her. Try to blend in with the crowd. I could blend in a whole lot better if you shut the... Your entreaties are futile. Your daughter hates the interloper. And what's worse, she refuses to reveal her whereabouts. Someone must pay for such treacheries. Understand us. Listen to <sighs> me. Hey. Interloper! Stop! You must stop! She can save us! She can end your madness! Oh! Father! What the hell kind of craziness is this? Tantra Sila has the power to change the state of matter and being. She was using one of her minions as a vessel. Oh, wait, what's it doing now? Stop! You die now, Intelopa! Yeah! 
shield. Then it's nowhere left to run. Not a chance in hell. <clears throat> not today. <sighs> nope, not working. <clears throat> Crap. What is it with flying assholes trying to kill me? Try and knock it down to the ground. <laughs> Got one for ya. Huh? My magic isn't doing anything. It must be protected somehow. Huh. That's not doing much. Oh. We got this. Coming at ya! Ha! what she does if it gets her closer to you. Damn. And that's that! Ugh. This is gonna sting. Ugh. Nice! Full steam ahead. Huh? What's up with our friend? Losing one's wings does make flying something of a challenge. Eat shit. Behold the countless fallen, and all because of this demon. You saw what she did. She will kill us all. Surely, Councilwoman Burnett. Surely you agree with me? Yes. Seize her. No, 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 no. Th this young woman is our protector. She'll save us. He is as corrupted as she is. Seize them all before the darkness spreads. You will do nothing of the kind. Rogan Keen is wise beyond measure, and has always been a man of his word. Had we known he was still alive, he would be sitting on the council, not you. And this young woman has brought him back to us. Welcome home, old friend. Tanta Silas' attack shows us one thing. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. And how many further agonies must we suffer? Her presence has cost us too many lives. Councilwoman Bellet is right. Tanta Sila will surely visit her wrath upon us once more. A clear majority. The girl must be surrendered to Tanta Sila at once. No need. I'll go to her myself.
morning, Frey. Here are the notes on the Turan I promised you. <sighs> Look, about our deal. Your dad's journals all got burnt up in the guild when we escaped. It's fine. Frey, you brought him back. That's far more important. That's more than I could ever have hoped for. Here. Thank you. So, uh, where can I find Sila? You should visit the Archives in Upper Sapor. You'll be able to find out more about her there. The Archives. Got it. Alden, sorry to bother you, but I just saw your father wandering off. Uh, forgive me, Frey. I need to go and find him. Right. Off to the Archives we go. I am kind of worried about Bob, though. He is my ticket out of here. <sighs> Do what you want. But remember, we have a Tunter to defeat. What's this? It's a Partha from Janoon. So they're like Athian dice? They're made of animal bones. You roll one, and if it lands on one of the little symbol things, <laughs> you're in for a lucky day. Wow, sounds fun. Oh, that's all it is. No one takes it too seriously. Go on, give it a go. Would you look at that? I want to check to see if Bob's doing okay. Let's look around. You're Frey, aren't you? The one who used their amazing powers to drive back the monsters. I'm Pilo. Can't believe I'm talking to the hero who saved the city! I'm not a hero. Not now, never will be. Did you want something? Um... Just wondering if there's... Anything I can do! I don't know, I could... Hey, I could show you around town. You haven't been here long, right? A guided tour, what an excellent idea. Certainly couldn't hurt to get the lay no, of the land. No, thanks, but I'm not in the mood. Oh, don't say that! Look, I'll be waiting for you, alright? When you're ready, just let me know. talking about. The amazing girl? Oh, come on. I wouldn't go that far. Olivia used to look after my elf a lot, you know. But I never heard her talk about another grown-up like she did you. You must have been very special to her. You think so? And she was special to you too, I imagine. Guess we only ever actually spoke a few times. But we just kind of connected, you know? 
You, you remind me of her. She was strong, and you could trust her. And she was lonely. Hmm. Tanta Sila was a mighty warrior. I'd watch yourself out there if I were you. <sighs> I was just pondering the fleeting nature of life. One moment, we are laughing together, not a care in the world. The next, we are not but dust on the wind. What good can come of love in such a time? Surely it can only end in tragedy. I hate to say it, but you might be right. Some music, perhaps? Though I fear it will do precious little to lift the mood. Then allow me to perform the horrible terror of Preynost. He really needs some help naming these. Reynost is a harsh and unforgiving land. Not all who make the journey there are fortunate enough to escape a fiery fate. And for those they leave behind, naught remains but emptiness. You would do well to take care. If you plan on venturing there yourself. Not exactly the most illuminating of ditties, was it? That's the trouble with these arty types. Very little in the way of practical advice. What do you mean? Kranos bad. Stay away. That was pretty much the message, right? Hey, that cat. You really do have the magic touch. I swear I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. The cat that was just here? Oh yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. You think it's waiting for her to come back? I hope not. Putting your faith in humans is a great way to guarantee disappointment. Hey. It's not like she wanted to leave him behind, asshole. All right, all right. I'm sorry I spoke. can't stop thinking where Bob might have gotten to. The next stage of the plan will require... You? What are you still doing in Sepal? You will not escape Tanta Sila's wrath, you know. Her enemies receive no quarter. None. Is she from Prenost? Seems rather keen on Sila. Hmm. Maybe she can tell us more about her. She is the Tanta of Strength, blessed with the power to fortify both mind and body. That sounds tricky to deal with. And her gifts do not end there. She is a leader under whose unflinching discipline whole armies cower. Her mere presence on the battlefield is enough to strike terror into the hearts of her enemies. Okay, I get it. She's one stone-cold, badass bitch. You trespassed upon her realm. You are a threat, and as such, are not to be tolerated. Just because I walked over some imaginary line? Shit, should have brought a passport. There is no just when it comes to trespass on sacred ground, girl. Especially not when the ground in question belongs to one so powerful. It was your fault the city was attacked. Tanta Sila wished only to drive out the threat. And she clearly wasn't the only one. She 
she was hard on others, but no harder than she was on herself. Beneath that stern exterior lies a warmer heart. Her desire to protect the people of Athia, this is what drives her. Protect? Is that what you call smashing shit up and killing people? What use is there in talking to one as corrupted as you? Sorry I asked. Why do I even care who she is or who she used to be? She killed Olivia. That's all that matters. As long as you remain, the city remains in danger. Tantasila may yet be forced to destroy us all. You must go to her and be punished for your crimes. Oh, I'll go to her all right. And when I find her, she's dead. Children, come back. I haven't... I suppose you saw that. They just will not listen to me. Something tells me he gets that a lot. The children of Athia place no value on their education. None. The blame is not entirely theirs, of course. My teachings will not fill their bellies. Not today, at any rate. But if they do not learn to think of tomorrow, if they would only let me teach them... But no. They will not hear a word of it. Can't really blame them. They've been through a lot. None save dear Olivia, that is. Poor child. She at least was kind enough to listen. Had I only been able to teach her to read, I am sure her love of learning would have blossomed. You mean they can't even read? Maybe you could, I don't know, start with some simple rhymes or something? Yes. What a fine idea. I could certainly do worse than try. Thank you. The gift of wisdom is a precious one indeed. I will experiment with the method you suggest. Now, if you will excuse me. Wandering the city, dispensing insights, hither and yon. I may have to revise my opinion of you, Frey. I wasn't exactly trying to inspire the guy, but I'll take it. Decided to take me up on my offer? Okay, bet. Give me the tour. Great! This is great! All right. We'll start at the square in the lower city. This way. Come on, follow me! The lower city is where all the refugees live. And the square, here, is its heart. Are you a refugee? My parents were. I was born here. So Paul are born and bred, huh? Anyone my age or younger pretty much has to be. Shall we? Around here is basically our turf. A shame it's barely fit for human habitation. Do the buildings around here just not get fixed? Sometimes. 
But we're not a priority down here. The upper city comes first. And that, and then everything else. That sucks. Up there is where we get our water. Uh, I've seen that already. Thank you, though. Oh, really? All right, then. Let me show you something else. It is. Fancy letting someone like that roam the streets unsupervised. Hey, Mommy! Mommy! That's the lady! Shush you! And you don't go near her! You hear? Hey! That's no way to! It's cool. I'm used to it. Jim, I was rather hoping to see that fiery temper of yours in action. Petty small-minded gossips! Although, I suppose it is pretty frightening. With your power, you could turn the whole town on its head just like that! Yeah. There's something else, all right. Not this shit again. I'm nobody. Get over it already. Hey! Do you like animals? They're all right, I guess. Great! You like this, then? Over here is where we keep all the livestock. We don't get to eat meat very often, but we do all right, I suppose. Hey, you can't create food out of thin air, can you? Never mind. The big open area is the graveyard. Rich or poor, we all end up there in the end. A farm and a cemetery. You don't see that often. Really? It's quite a good arrangement. The animals help keep the grass down. Come on, let's go and take a closer look. <laughs> They're not shy, that's for sure. Well, we don't get many new faces in town. Hey. Why don't you try feeding them? Really? Is that allowed? Of course! Wait here! I'll go and grab some food. Just go up to one of them, and hold out your hand. This guy's a mess. You don't bathe them? Oh, we try. But that one just loves his mud baths.
Like I said, this is the graveyard. There are so many of them. Yeah, well, if they're dead, they're down there. Wolf that down, huh? That's the graveyard. Everyone who ever died in Sepal is buried there. Only trouble is, there's too many of them now tomorrow. <clears throat> Our savior's favorite farm has kind of a ring to it, don't you think? I might put up a sign. Right. I suppose it's time I showed you the upper city. It's back the way we came and up the stairs. Or did you want to look around a bit more first?
Can I ask you something? Your powers? Could you give me a quick demonstration? Absolutely not. You're not some street performer. Look, I'm sorry, but they're not for show. Ah, really? I was hoping you'd give me another look. But I guess I've seen enough. Adi is as good as save already. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? I'm not your savior. So, this is where the rich folks live. Yep. And they get the best food, the nicest clothes, and the safest part of the city to themselves. They get to run everything just because of who they are. Best not to think about it. Ah, the accident of birth. Curse you, cruel fate. It's her. Oh, don't even look at her. What business does someone like that have in this part of the city? Uh, that boy is here again. Ignore him. He'll clear off soon enough. Do you want me to call the guards? Only if she does something. Well, of course she will. We'll see, dear. We'll see. This is the Tower of... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Hey, uh, don't worry about it. Let's maybe not go in for the full tour, though. Can she really trust me? It's not our place to question the This is the mausoleum. Our souls come here when we die. What are you doing here? And you? You belong in the lower city. Yes! You have no right to be here. Neither of you. Be gone! Ugh, of all the people to run into. Frey saved the city! If anyone deserves to be here, it's her! If she wanted, she could turn you to ashes in a heartbeat! But she'd never do that. Isn't that right, Frey? Okay, can you fucking let it go already? What? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? If you want to save your city, do it your fucking self. You're not dragging me into this. What about our tour? There's so much still to see. I don't need a stupid fucking tour. help you with anything ever got that I I'm sorry I just I got carried away I suppose look let me take you to one last place fuck no come on please I'm not sure he's gonna take no for an answer <sighs> one look at whatever the hell it is and I'm out thank you so so much come on it's this way Wait, wh what the hell is this? Thank you so much for saving the city! Oh, Mom said we're not supposed to talk to you, but 
But you helped us. Thank you, Frey. They've been wanting so badly to show you how grateful they are. Uh, I... it was nothing. That's not true. And you know it. We're all in your debt. Me included. Wait, is... is this why you came and found me in the first place? Pilo! You'd better not let me find you slacking off, you little runt. Oh, no! Where the heck are you? Get here! Now! Oh, no! It's the boss! Sorry, Frey. I have got to go! What an excitable young man. You know, I've never gotten flowers before. And let's hope it never happens again, shall we?